to my channel. It is your girl Jessica Celeste, yes, in the flesh. And I just want to first of all start off by welcoming all of my first time viewers to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. Go ahead and subscribe. And to shout out all of my subbies, y'all are the best. I absolutely love and appreciate y'all. And I cannot wait to get into the material and the reason why I'm recording this video today. So, I want everyone who is not subscribed to go ahead and subscribe. You're gonna to want to know when I post a new video. I'm telling you, 2020, I'm kicking all the doors down and you're gonna to wanna to be here. Um, so, let's get into the reason of this video. As you can tell by the title, some major changes have happened in my life, y'all. So, of course, with every new story that I tell y'all, like, every new beginning, there has to be, like, a background, right? So, last week made two weeks that I basically relocated to Greenville, South Carolina. Yes, I finally moved. I have been in Columbia, South Carolina for 11 years, and then I moved back home. Uh, shortly after my grandmother passed and I stayed home for like a year and some change but anyways um, today I'm basically going to be sharing tips of how you know I was able to prepare to make the move and I know that there are a lot of other people out there um, who are whether you're thinking about moving or you're in that process of moving, like wherever you are in that stage of relocating, I'm definitely going to be sharing some amazing tips to help you guys prepare. Right, so no story can really begin or have an end without a beginning, right? So I'm just going to give you all the background of how it all went down to me being able to move to Greenville. Okay, so... For those of you who follow me on Instagram, you saw where I shared the stories of me um, going to um, Orlando on a solo trip. Okay, so when I came back that weekend, uh, from that weekend, I had to work that Monday morning. First thing Monday morning, sat through the morning meeting, everything was just regular day. Got called into my boss's office and was realizing that I was getting fired for whatever reason. It really didn't matter to me at that point because I was like, dang, this is really confirmation that I'm going in this direction. Like, I, it's happening. Like, I can't even get comfortable where I am. So, that was on July 20th. On, what was it? July 29th, I applied for my current job here in Greenville. And I got the interview offer the same day, y'all. I'm just reading my little notes that I have on here. Um, so that I can stay track with telling y'all this story and everything. Okay, so I interviewed on August the 1st, got the job offer the same day, y'all, and signed my paperwork, right? So then, you know, I started um, my license and training because the position did require me to get some additional credentials. Um, so I took my, um, started my training licensing class and that was on August 9th. And okay, so let me paint this picture for y'all. My training schedule was from 6 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. And that was for nine days. So me living in Holly Hill, South Carolina to Greenville, South Carolina was literally two and a half hours, okay? So imagine me getting up at the, it's still pitch black outside. People are still mostly in their beds. And I'm getting up so that I can make this two hour, two and a half hour commute to Greenville, South Carolina to training and then back again in the same day. Okay? Yes. No, nope, nothing but God. Okay? Because there is no way, no way that the old me would have done this or some of y'all, not to step on nobody's toes but okay just see the dedication I had okay so fast forward I would literally have to leave my house at 3 a.m. each morning and I took my state exam once I got through that training class on August the 22nd and I passed it woo woo so I was good to go with the contingent offer now turned into an actual job offer uh, for the position that I was accepting and so I started my product training on September the 9th, y'all. So now the schedule is changed again. It's Monday through Friday, and I'm working from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. for the product training class. 
once again it takes two and a half hours for me to get to and from greenville um from holly hill and during that time period i was driving back and forth monday through friday and i still had other things that i had going on like you know spending time with my parents my siblings you know working on my own personal things and so it wasn't until October 12th, guys, that I moved into my apartment here in Greenville. And I must say it was well worth the freaking wait. But there were some things that had to be in place in order for me to get here. And that is really the premises of this video. So with everything that you do, I feel like you just really have to have a strategy. Like, and the strategy that I use to be successful is the reason why I'm here today, y'all. So the first thing that I would say, if you're someone who is in that process again, of uh, wanting to relocate, the first thing you need to do is just start grinding yourself. And I know a lot of the things that I'm going to share are not going to be the typical things that you hear about, you know, but that's the beauty of it. Y'all should know me by now. I like to go a little bit deeper because all these things are going to play a part in your life when it comes to making decisions that are going to affect your life for the next five, 10 to 20 years, okay? So the first thing I would say is again, ground yourself. You know, I really spent a lot of time working on a lot of inner issues, trying to heal from things from my past, um, and just working through my emotions and just making sure that I was healthy mentally. Um, and that required me to shift my mindset. I really had to shift my mindset about how I perceived things, um, what I was going through versus what the, my destination was. And so working on having that inner peace um, was really important because I needed that in order to be able to receive the guidance from God that I needed on this decision, something that was in my heart to do. And so I spent a lot of time praying and meditating. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that a very big, um, I'm very big on wellness. Um, and so I spent a lot of time praying and meditating, you know, as often as I could. I remember there were times even on my work uh, breaks and my lunches, like I would sometimes just go to my car or wherever I could go peacefully and quietly to just center myself. Um, Cause <laughs> even with the new opportunity, um, even before the opportunity and even once I had gotten this job, you know, here in Greenville, I still found myself challenged like, am I really supposed to be here? Is this the place I'm supposed to be at? So you have to ground yourself. You gotta start grounding yourself even, the, even before you even move because it's going to be that foundation that gets you through the entire process y'all okay um another thing i did was making sure that i was being intentional about my goal to move and i you know prioritize you know spending lots and lots of time with god through prayer through prayer and meditation all right so the second thing you guys are going to want to do when you're making a move is set a budget and create a list y'all this is the part where you're basically writing the vision. Um, this is where you sit down and you write it all out. This is where you're gonna take inventory of your belongings. This is where you're gonna determine, you know, how you plan to move, um, figuring out whether or not you're gonna be renting a, a moving truck or if you're hiring a crew or if you're gonna be doing it by yourself, basically like I did. Um, and so, and it's possible, it very, it very well is possible and so, this is the process that you don't want to skip on because this is where you're going to be determining, you know, what supplies you're going to be needing to research. Go online, Google things, you know, um, do price checks on things online to project what your costs are going to be for, um, you know, when it's time for you to move. You want to be able to anticipate those needs. Um, and of course, just determining your budget. I mean, all that leads you to the fact that you're going to now be able to determine a clear budget of what your expenses are going to look like. Um, you'll know how much you either need to save, if you can save, or you will just have to adjust your budget and your spending and make a few sacrifices here and there, like not going out to eat or not getting your hair and, you know, nails done, you know, as frequently as you were. Just trying to 
figure, you know, figure out how you can manage your money in a way that is going to help you be effective in your goal for moving. So, um, and the reason why I said save if you can, if really guys, honestly, truthfully, we're going to be transparent with each other. A lot of us, like myself, during that time, I was definitely living paycheck to paycheck. And so I know what challenges are faced, you know, when, you know, you're making this decision. It's, it's, a, it's very important. Like, I know. I get it. This is why I'm here to help you. All right. So the third thing you guys are going to want to do, and I know this one is the one that is not quite like the others. Don't tell anyone your plans, okay? Listen to me. Do not tell anyone your plans until God has put a yes on it, okay? I mean, not even your family members. At this particular point, you are gonna want to make sure that you protect your goal, your vision at this point. Do not tell anybody until you have sat before God and asked for guidance on what you're doing. Don't tell anybody, okay? Um, I feel like members of your family, co-workers, friends, uh, co-workers, your boo thing, you know, nobody, your best friend even, nobody can know about this. Like, nobody can know about this. And so, um, I really did that because I didn't want to risk exposing what I wanted to do to the wrong person, okay? Like, I feel your family members can have, and your friends and whomever can have really great intentions for the advice that they give, but sometimes it is really not the advice we need in that moment, okay? Okay? So, so the fourth thing you are going to want to do now that you have confirmation from God is start packing. Start packing. I know, I know. I didn't even have a job offer like on the table and I was already in that process like long before I had even started looking for this job opportunity to, you know, here in Greenville. Like I didn't even have a job offer on the table, y'all. Like that's my testimony. I didn't even have a job offer or an opportunity of some sort to provide income for me at that time on the table. But because I sat and I meditated and I prayed and I knew that this was something that I really wanted to do and I waited for confirmation for that to come to me, um, which was more than just getting, you know, fired from the job. It was many other things that took place, you know, that I won't talk about right now that just really showed me that this was the right decision for me. And once I got confirmation, I started, you know, packing. And I'm just gonna give you guys some tips for packing. Um, one of the really great things that helps me pack, and I know packing is very, like, men it can be mentally draining. Like, it takes a lot of strength mentally and physically and emotionally to get ready to pack, right? So, one of the things I took some time doing, you know, days that I had off or what have you, um, long before, you know, I was, like, looking for a new job. And I'll tell you guys more about that. Um, I started going through my belongings, I started going through my belongings and I started sorting through everything that I needed to get rid of, things that I wasn't going to take with me, things that were just really not even being used in my life and hadn't been used in my life in years. And so I was letting go of a lot of those things. Um, you know, I know a lot of people who still have stuff from like college, high school, that they're, that they're just like dragging around from place to place to place. And it's like some of those things you probably could leave behind. They just, you know... You know, it, it's just time to let go of the old. Like, keep some of it, but mm, some things you just know you need to let go of. So, I did that. Um, and then what I did was I scaled back on, like, all of my daily needs, like my toothpaste, toothbrush. I really kind of started living like I was staying in a guest house, in a sense. Like, I made the, the home, my grandmother's home that I was living in, more so of, like, I'm here as a guest. So at any moment, you know, when I'm ready to go and need, I need to make moves, I can do that and not be, like, stressed out, you know, um, about not, you know, not being ready and prepared for when an offer or opportunity did come. So um, another thing that I want to say to you guys is that labeling, like, my boxes was really a big help. I'm very big on being organized, so label your stuff. Um, if you can't go out and purchase labels, 
seriously just, you know, consider the boxes, um, which I share in a minute, the materials and where I got them from. Just, you know, make your own little piece of paper or a big piece of paper and write what those items are. And that's why it's good to categorize everything, like your kitchen items, your clothes and personal belongings versus household supplies. Like I put all those things into different boxes so that when the time came for me to move in, it was very easy for me to start unpacking and putting things in the place that they needed to be in. Um, so one of the things I just wanna share from the heart is that you guys have to realize that new beginnings are gonna require a lot of preparation. Um, so a few things you need to know before you move um, that I would recommend doing is changing your address formally by notifying companies, you know, like your utility companies, you know, that you will be leaving <laughs> and give them the address of where you'll be going. Um, also, after you move, guys, um, notify everybody else like the IRS. Um, I hope they don't want you, but uh, <laughs> make sure you do that. Let the DMV know. Um, where you're moving to make sure you change information with your address for things like your voter registration because I know y'all are very um, Y'all are very, you know doing your adult thing and doing the right thing and using your right to vote. I know you are I know you are um, and then everyone else like all the other bills or Expenses you have they can really wait, you know like credit card companies, things like that, you want to let them know where you're moving once you moved. Um, but everybody else will kind of wait until you get settled, which really helped me to prioritize so that I wasn't like stressed out about, you know, I got this person to call, I need to call that person, I need to do this, and I need to. I, it just, these things really have helped me prioritize what I need to do and focus on, you know, before and after, during and after my move. So one of the ways that I prepared for moving um, was that I got boxes and I bought a lot of my boxes, well all of them from, um, was it Home Depot? And with the boxes with Home Depot, as you see, they are the ones that um, basically have the name or the label option already made on the box. So you can just write it on there. Um, and I really like that part about the boxes that I bought because it made, you know, made it a lot easier for me not to have to go out and purchase additional supplies and stuff like that to label the boxes. Um, of course, you're gonna wanna get your packing supplies, like your packing tape, a permanent marker, mover blankets if you need those type of things. I didn't really need any of that, but I'll be sure to link a few options for you guys to choose from for whatever type of budget you're working with. I know I've been there. I definitely use things from Dollar Tree, Walmart, and Amazon to get a lot of the stuff that I um, needed for my movement. To be honest with y'all, all I spent was like $30. And I, I wanna say I spent around 20-ish, but I'm just gonna round it and say that it was $30 that I spent just for me to move because I didn't have a lot that I was taking with me when I moved into my grandmother's house. I didn't come in there with furniture. Like the only thing I had was my bed and I ended up leaving that because I bought a new bed when I bought here, when I moved here. So yeah, it was very easy for me to move and I'm very thankful for that. And I just want to shout out all of my coworkers and the amazing new people that I have met since I have been here in Greenville. Like a lot of people just really looked out for your girl, you know, throughout the entire process. People I had on my team, like they used to make or give me like snacks and stuff. A few people gave me money for gas, like just out of their heart because they knew, you know, that I was making the commute back and forth. And I just really thank God for just placing those individuals along my path. You know, some of them, Already I've been here for what, two months. And some of them have moved on to other, you know, endeavors already since we've, you know, since I've been here. But it was just really great to know them in that moment and that they, you know, were, you know, supportive of me and that they were just a blessing to my life. So I'm gonna end this video right here with you guys. I wanna thank everybody so, so, so much for, you know, just supporting my channel 
being here. I hope the information that I've given to you guys or provided to you guys is definitely going to help you with making a decision for your future. Again, I know making a move a lot of times can be fearful, but I just want to encourage you guys to just be at a place to where you have inner peace and you can shut out all the negativity from everybody else. Wait to tell your family until you have confirmation on the table that this thing is going to be moving forward. I had the faith of knowing, but I didn't want to share it with my family um, because I simply wanted to prepare myself to be able to answer all the questions that they were going to have and so forth. And I just didn't want to deal with it until I got in that space. So, um, you know, again, I hope this helps. If you guys have other questions and you want a little bit more insight, make sure you leave your comments down below. I'm going to tag the websites that I use and some of the supplies that I purchased so you guys will be able to make um, this a successful move for you and you can save money, those things. And I just wanna uh, finally ask that if you have not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, honey, like you know you want to. Like what is wrong with you? What's your problem? Like really, do we have a problem here? Um, and also let's shout out Aunt Jackie's for the amazing hair, yes. The hair is beautiful and popping. Y'all like my little, my little pom pom? I call it like this, like a little pom pom or whatever. But that might not be the technical name for it. But thanks guys for watching. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video where I reveal my apartment to you. Bye.